Have a safe trip, you three. I'll see you in two days. Bye. <laughs> Bye. Goodbye. Sure you won't come? Miss ya. Yeah, why would you want to go ride an old camel for anyway? Come have some fun. Yeah, Hannes. And besides, you're going to need us to keep you out of trouble. Oh, honestly, I'll be just fine. Now you three go have fun, and I'll see you all again soon. Bye-bye, Hannes. Bye -bye, Hannes. Bye -bye. You take care of yourself now. Now, don't you get something out there. Make sure you get the water the camel in. We'll miss you. Okay, have fun. We'll see you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Hmm, how odd it feels. All on my own, without my little friends. We've been together for as long as I can remember. Well, off I go. You can stop waving now, Max. Hannes can't see you anymore. I know, but I can still see him. But before long, the station fell far behind, and beautiful sights of India rolled past their window. Oh, look at that. The fabled palace, the Taj Mahal. The Holy River Ganges, ancient Kampur, and it seemed all too soon that the train stopped with a gentle bump. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> I wonder what's going on. There's nobody around. I thought you said some guy was going to pick us up. He must have forgotten, Kitty. The train station's deserted. Well, I guess we really don't have any choice. Let's go look for him. Why don't we stop here and ask someone for directions? <clears throat> I wonder why Kareem didn't meet us at the train. Hello, it's me. Huh? <laughs> oh, look, that must be Kareem. Oh, oh. oh no, look out! Wow! <laughs> you are Kareem, aren't you? I am indeed. I am sorry that I am late. And I welcome you all to India. No apologies required, young fella. In fact, our train just came. <laughs> I'm glad to hear it. My father would not want me to keep honored guests such as yourselves waiting. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha! <laughs> <laughs> so are you all ready? Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> oh boy, look at this! All aboard! <laughs> you heard him, guys! <laughs> I'm coming! I'm coming! <laughs> okay, let's, let's go! <laughs> Is that you, Harness? Aha! Punjab, you old goat! At last we meet again, eh? Good to see you, my friend. <laughs> it has been a long time, has it not? You have not changed a bit. You look wonderful. And you're just in time, too. Today is the big championship camel race I told you about, and now you will be here to see me win it. Mm-hmm. Wouldn't have missed it for the world, though. I know you are wondering how I can be so sure I'm going to win. Well, I will tell you, Hannes. My camel is the finest in mm -hmm. all India, and after mm -hmm. it wins, I can sell it for a fortune. Ah. Come along, Hannes. You will see. Here she is, Vindalu. Vindalu, meet my old friend, Hannes. Hello. Up. Go, oh. go, go. Everyone is extremely excited because Serena's wedding is just two days away. Serena's your sister, right? We're here just in time! Oh, no! Hold on tight, everyone! Ah! 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 Oh. How'd that cow get loose in the street? Cows are sacred in India. Oh, look! There's my house. We're almost there. Well, here we are, Hannes. I hope the ride was not too rough on you. <laughs> this is the market and also the starting point for the race later today. Come this way, my friend. I have some business to attend to. I hope you will excuse me. I am sure you will find there are many interesting things to see and do in the marketplace. Oh, and do not be afraid of the panhandlers. It is said good fortune comes to those that give them money. Mm. Yeah. Oh, please, please, sir. Money for me, sir. 
Please. Right here you are. Here's one for you and one for you. I wonder what's going on in here. Excuse me. Uh, what in the world? It's you, isn't it? The boy who was sitting on the rope. Uh-huh. Oh, you want money for your trick, eh? Mm. But how did you do it? I saw you go into the basket. There are some mysteries that it is better to leave unsolved, sir. Meanwhile, Max is getting a tour of the majestic palace where Kareem and his sister Serena live. Gosh, Kareem, we've been walking forever. We have buildings this size back where I come from, too, but we call them airplane hangars. The palace is very large. We're only halfway. If you can keep a secret, Max, we will go see my sister, Serena. Why should that... To see her is forbidden. How can it be forbidden just to see your old sister? My sister, Serena, is going to be married soon. Traditionally, I am not allowed to see her before then. Ah, uh, girls are like that. They like to act special, but I think they're all really kind of dumb. It's true. <laughs> yes, stop that at once. What in the world are you two fighting about? I did it because he... Hey, please don't tell her what I said. She's not a dumb girl. Huh? So what was your disagreement about? Oh, I didn't believe we weren't allowed to see you, Miss Serena. <laughs> yes, it is a very old custom. Well, it sure is nice to meet you anyway. You're awful pretty. <laughs> we'll just stay for a minute. I don't want to get you in trouble. <laughs> Actually, I am very glad that you came. It's so nice to have someone to talk to instead of being all alone, and I am quite concerned about my wedding. You see, I have never even met the man I am about to marry. We can fix that. We will simply take you to see him. <laughs> you cannot do that. Sure we can. We'll take a rickshaw. Or Hannes's bus, or a train, or a cow. I bet that there are a lot of ways we can get you there, Serena. Enough, enough, you daredevil. I appreciate the thought, but I really cannot leave the palace. There is one favor that I ask. This letter is from the boy who I really love. The one I want to marry, if I could. Then why don't you? I want him to know that it was not my choice, that my father has promised me to another. We will help you, Serena. You bet. How do we get him the message? Well, here. We can get to him. This must be our little secret. Count on us, Serena. Bye. Everything is going to work out. I just know it, sister. Thank you. <laughs> Exciting race, was it not? Indeed. And wait until the auction tomorrow. The price for the camel that wins the race will certainly be very high. Well, then, let us go and celebrate our victory. Excellent <laughs> idea, Jeff. <laughs> I'm starving. <laughs> Meanwhile, Kareem and Max carry Serena's secret message to her true love who waits outside the palace. <laughs> Are you two? We are messengers. Yeah, from the palace, sort of. Really? We brought this. Yeah. It is from Serena? Uh-huh. 
She's right up there, watching us from her bedroom window. Come back here, monkey! Stop! You think that doesn't belong to you? Give it back! How dare you! You must bring that letter back immediately, you no good monkey! <laughs> Trouble I shall be in for. Hmm, too noisy in there for me. Hello, old girl. I think I'll probably sleep much better out here with you. Mm-hmm. Ah, all that talking and card playing in there is just not for me. Good night now. Aha! Thieves! Thieves! Wake up, everybody! Ah! They're running away! That's right! And stay away, you good for nothings! Anis, what is it? What was happening out there? Camel thieves, Punjab. Camel thieves? I am glad that you were out here to stop them from stealing Vindaloo, my friend. Can you imagine it if I had lost my cabal, my most precious possession? And you'd have nothing to sell tomorrow. I do not think I shall sell Vindaloo tomorrow. I think this is a sign from the gods to tell me that there are more important things than money and that Vindaloo and I belong together. You have saved my camel, so together huh? we may stay, and together we will win many more races. I owe you much, my friend, for you have shown me the correct path. Let us get some sleep, eh? All right, my friend. The next morning, back at the palace, Serena prepares for her wedding day. This wedding day really ought to be the very happiest day in her life. Alas, with my letter to Omar having been lost, I am afraid of what may happen. Don't worry at all, Serena. I'm sure that old letter of yours is probably torn to pieces and blowing in the wind by now. Your new husband will certainly never find out about it. I suppose. But even so, I remain terribly unhappy about my situation. Don't be so depressed. Maybe the boy you're marrying isn't so bad after all. We could go take a look and then tell you about him. Oh, would you? That's a wonderful idea, yeah. Max. Aha! Uh -huh, that's it, of course. We will check him out thoroughly for you. <laughs> Why must I marry this girl, Father? Why can't I choose my own wife? Because it has been arranged for you. I hear voices. That must be him. Huh? Why don't you? It's you guys. I don't understand. What are you two doing here? What's going on? Come away from the door. 
My father must not know about this. Did you find the letter? Did Serena give you a message to give to me? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It is so sad. Today she will be forced to marry a man who she has never seen before. So we offered to come over and try to take a look at him. She may not love him, but we hope at least he's a nice fella. Alas, I also have to wed today. So I know just how Serena feels. Hmm. <gasps> <gasps> Wait, if we're both getting married today, then you are marrying each other. Yes. Hooray, that's the answer. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. Father, I have decided that I will get married today after all. I knew you would see a princess. This pendant is my lucky charm. I want you two to have it as a token of my gratitude for all of your help. Now that I am marrying the girl of my dreams, I won't need luck anymore. I'm already lucky. Gosh! Are you sure, Omar? Oh. If Serene is the one and only one for him, do you think he's the only one for her, too? Oh, sure. If this lucky charm has done its job correctly, then they are both perfect for each other. No, this kind of charm works better right here where it was made in India. Kareem, it's yours. Hmm. I can't wait to tell Serena about this. Imagine how happy she's going to be when she finds out Omar's the man she's about to marry. She's in for a shock, all right. What if we don't tell her about him? What if we let him surprise her? Karim, is that you? We found out about your husband-to-be. That is all right. He will be here soon, and I will learn about him for myself. You did talk to him, though. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> He's really an all right fella, you know it. Actually, Serena, I think you might get to like him after you get to know him better. He's sort of just your type, if you know what I mean. So then, do you think he feels the same? Yes, Serena, he's very happy about the wedding. In fact, he's so happy he gave us his lucky charm. Really? What does it look like? <gasps> and you swear that you received that from the guru? Mm -hmm. Look. You have a lucky charm, too? <gasps> oh! They're both exactly the same! I will not be needing this anymore either, since the man that I am to marry is Omar, my one and only true love. May I hold one, please? It is yours, Max. I have got a great idea. You will keep one of them, and I will keep the other one. That way we will be brothers for life, and we will be sure to meet again someday. What do you say, Max? Is it a deal? Deal? <laughs> it opens up. It's Serena. Ah, look. Mine has Omar. Let's put our pictures inside here now. That way we'll be sure to see each other again someday. <laughs> Just don't get any ideas about me marrying you, all right? <laughs> hey, it sounds like the groom has arrived. The ceremony is about to start. <laughs> Doesn't he, Max? <laughs> oh, my word, this could well be a disaster. We've got to do something before he ruins your sister's whole wedding and everything. <laughs> It seems they really work. <laughs> <laughs> now we can really celebrate. Right, Max? 
And then all too soon, with the celebrating done and Hannes returned from his visit with Punjab, it was time for the Woolmouse family to take their leave. Hannes, you seem awfully quiet. Did you have fun with your friend? Oh, yes, Kitty. I'm just tired from all the excitement I had with Punjab and his pals in the desert. Uh, I know just what you mean. These folks sure know how to throw a party. Have you just gone to a wedding, too? No, but I did save my friend's camel from thieves one night. And then Punjab won race after race with that beast, and we kept celebrating and celebrating endlessly. We saved Kareem's sister. And then we each got one half of this lucky charm. Hmm. Hannes, look out! Ah! Ah! My charms! Ooh. What's this? It looks like a secret note. Ah, uh, that's just Serena's picture. But as soon as I get Kareem's picture, I'll put it inside. It's more than just a picture. Take a look. There's a secret message written on the back. Hmm. You know, it also feels like it may be the same kind of paper that our chronicles are printed on. Hannes, we've got to turn around and go back. Half of the page is missing. We need to go back and get the other half from the lucky charm that Kareem is wearing. Mm-mm. But Hannes... Your charm just helped us miss the sacred cow, Max. It'll keep the message safe, too. Your part as well as the half and Kareem's charm. And one day, when the time is right, the two of you will be reunited. I'm sure of it. <laughs> That's funny. Look who's giving a lecture on being patient. Yes, I know it sounds strange, but this country has taught me to believe in the unbelievable, and from what you tell me, I think you've learned that as well. We've all had experiences here that remind us just how surprising and wonderful life is.